struggling with the injured amid wreckage and rubble. Shock and confusion is written on many faces. I just saw a lot of people. I wondered what had happened, so I came here. I don't know what will happen to me. It's confusing. You don't know what's going on. It was a big bomb. The blast sent people fleeing. It destroyed the building that houses the Prime Minister's office. The tangled wreckage of a car suggests a vehicle-borne device. The holiday season meant the city's streets and offices were emptier than they could have been. We've taken in nine patients so far. More are on the way. Many are very seriously injured. They're being operated on. We're in control of the situation and we've got enough resources. It's impossible to get close to the destroyed government buildings here in the heart of Oslo. Much of the center has been cordoned off by police, but these are the deserted streets of a city on a normally crowded Friday night, the capital of a country now much changed. Many Norwegians never saw themselves in the firing line. What they must do now is grapple with quite what this country did to incur these attacks. Late in the evening, the prime minister addressed the nation. I have a message to those who attacked us, to those who are behind it. This is a message from all of Norway. You are not going to destroy us. You are not going to destroy our democracy or our engagement for a better world. We are a small nation, but a proud nation. Nobody is going to bomb us into silence. A proud nation, now in mourning. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Oslo, Norway.